jobs are holding up. And this yes. is a point that you keep making. And yet this morning yeah. we've got news Accenture is laying off 19,000 workers because the IT spending is slowing. Walmart's laying off hundreds of workers at the e-commerce fulfillment centers. Uh, your thoughts on, you know, jobs so far holding up, but a lot of people are expecting this slowdown and right. worries over banks to catch up with unemployment as well. I'm going for that slowdown too. It's not happening. And I think you have to put these layoffs in context. First off, it's IT spending specifically, right? So if you look at it, we know big tech's in a recession. I, you know, recession definitely in the tech sector. And also, Accenture actually added 28,000 people last two quarters. Um, and if I'm a big company right now, growth is slowing. Consulting is the first thing to go. The old joke is, with consulting is, well, I'll take your watch. I'll tell you what time it is, and I'll sell it back to you. <laughs> so obviously, I think that's, that's a place you are going to see some cuts. And then Walmart, we're talking about 200 people. They have 2.1 million workers. Mm. It's in their e-commerce division, and we know where consumer spending is now. It's not in e-commerce, which boomed during the pandemic. People were out spending again in the economy. Jobless claims are at a three-week low again this week. Job market's hot, Maria. It's well, not slowing down. You've been bullish, and you've been right about this market. But, I mean, we're looking yeah. down the road and expecting things to get rockier. It, it all sounds great, but look, the 10-year treasury is at 3.3% today. So I think the market's telling you, and, and Mary, you just said it, is the Fed's already changed their tune. Yep. Um, we're already seeing interest rates come down. If I'm a home buyer, I like the fact mortgage rates are coming down again. I think that's going to be a phenomenal boon for the housing market because rates were at 7%. Now they're coming back down again. So I think the market's already told you, the bond market specifically, we're in a disinflationary environment now, which I said is very good. That's what we wanted. And maybe this like breaking of the banks, uh, three banks, is probably a good omen for getting the Fed to actually change their tune, which I think is happening. And again, yeah. labor market is not weakening. This is a great combination. You're a buyer of stocks right here? Um, yeah, I mean, that's like a rhetorical question at this point. Absolutely a buyer of stocks here. I yeah. think the biggest mistake you can make is locking your money up into a one-year treasury, getting 4%. Rates are probably going to be lower next year when that money comes due. And meanwhile, the market's on sale. You've got $1.9 trillion in cash right now. It's like a powder keg. You just need a little bit of good news.